the topic is art of parenting yeah. and um, so first let let us understand let us know that what is exactly art of parenting which you always promote and tell people sure so i'll tell you every generation is different from the previous generation and yes. there is always a gap between uh, the two generation of parents and the children and you know Uh, if you look at today's generation the children who are going to schools what we generally call as generation z, z or z they are born with technology and you know our pa- yes. parents or maybe our generation we got into technology in the second part of our life yes so, you know, there are a lot of challenges yes. but i would say art of parenting is not just an art it's also a science and also it's a knack So I always say yes. that you know, uh, before becoming a parent, most of us have many principles about parenting. Yes. But the, when reality happens, it's very different. And you know, there's a joke yes. I heard. Before becoming a parent, I had six principles of how to bring up children. And after becoming a, a parent, I have six children and no principles. So I would say, apart from the art of parenting, let it be also fun of parenting. Let us enjoy the parenting process also. Correct, correct, rightly said. So when it should be started, sir? Art of learning this strategic way of learning those principles. In fact, I think everybody should read your book because it is starting before the child is born, and as we say, garbha samskar. In India, children are not born; they are the soul is invited into the uh, life of the parents. So I think yes. if you want to start parenting after the child is born, you are too late. So I think they Sorry. all should follow your advice of garbha samskar before becoming parents. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, that is one point. But uh, there is another connection which uh, I teach in my course. That is, you know, it's not just the you should start from that uh, from the womb, but you are related with your earlier third generation. Means it's a three generation connection yeah. which we carry. More than three generation, but at least we can scientifically prove that it's a three generation connection we have. It should be started from you, so that your third third generation will be well educated, right? Yes, absolutely, yeah. totally agree. Okay, okay, sir. So uh, today, like you said, it's a technological world, digital world, uh, and uh, there are a lot of things which comes uh, across obstacles which parents face today. Is that managing? the work and parenting balance you know i'm not saying life because it's a broader word so i will be you know connecting with the parenting and how the work they should manage all together yeah so i think today uh, both the parents the father and the mother are very much focused on their career also yes. initially you know father used to be the bread earner and the mother used to be a full time homemaker So it was almost like yes. you know a very divided kind of a job profile, and you know there is one joke I heard which I will tell in Hindi because the the impact of that joke will come in Hindi. You know the wife okay. used to always say, "Tera paisa to mera hai, aur mera paisa to mera hi hai." <laughs> Correct. <laughs> so so, so the, I think our parent generation was very sorted of parenting. of course mm-hmm. father had a major role to play but i think it was the mother who started the first you know step of bringing the child and you know grooming him or her to the next level and then slowly both the parents take over now coming to the point that you said you know it's very very important to know that you know today uh, if both the parents are working it's a major challenge of work life balance mm-hmm. so i think uh, uh, today both the couple should share the parenting i would say not just challenges but responsibilities and therefore yes. i always say you know there has to be very healthy discussion between the couple mm. and as mm. you said it's a three generation responsibility i think the grandparents also have to be involved yes of course the grandparents yes. from both sides maybe the father's side and the mother's side also are very mm. close to the children So it's equally yes, important yes. that you know they get involved. So we should have very clear family discussions from time to time. I remember yes. I had once met a managing director of a very big company. She was a lady, and she was very busy. And you know, many times even on weekends she would be out for business purposes mm-hmm. and all that. So it's like you know, full time she was into career, but she was an excellent mother also of two kids. 
so i asked her okay, how come you are able to manage this work life balance as a mother as a professional career you know what she said i have the complete support of my family that's what matters the most yes so uh, sir i was reading book and i am so much glad that i completed two books reading <laughs> i have taken this you know sankalp since it's a new year and it's the 10th day of new year so it, uh, i finish uh, two books reading in that the wisdom bridge you might be knowing because you are not uh, your home is library i know that uh, <laughs> i heard you in some talk so you might be knowing that the wisdom bridge by taji uh, so he has written allo parenting term in it so the, allo parenting means having your parents and uh, joint family so that you will not have that concern or thinking before going to work so yes you continue sir so that i just got recollected what you said is absolutely correct in fact dr nutan you are absolutely right in the previous generation when there were joint families there were almost 20 children but there was no stress level like today today we have yes. two children and so much stress One yes. only, not even two. <laughs> you have two kids. I know, but people Sometimes are suffering only one. one. Yeah. Not even one. Now nowadays, so things are going out completely opposite. Uh, couple do not want to have these kids. Um, I was doing one uh, live talk with one of my student who is located in Dubai. So she has uh, told me that one uh, trend that is dink policy means double in. Income, no, no kids. kids. <laughs> so, uh, so that's why we people need to now work around this. That having children is good, and parenting also uh, having that skill. How you can start your parenting right from the womb uh, or during pregnancy after child. But everything we are there for you. Just have a baby, at least one. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Having one baby or many baby. the responsibility has to be taken completely yes yes that is very important point completely a to z right yes uh, sir um, uh, there is a lot of fear anxiety and when we say complete you know taking care responsibility so people be, parent become very much anxious and over protective while carrying out this responsibility so what is your advice for them see i think this is more a challenge of the educated parents and you know uh, in our previous generation parents told us please study please study please study so the current generation of parents are highly educated and they expect the children also to be highly educated so there is a lot of pressure of society on them so the parents pass mm -hmm. on that particular stress on the children so i would suggest mm -hmm. that you know, please don't do that let the children bloom naturally of course studies mm. and education is important no doubt about it mm. but let it not be a mm. social pressure you'd be surprised mm. you know, today if you look at children and if you look at our generation uh, there is nothing called as examination fever to these people yes yes you know, yes, said, yes. Okay. so if you look at the face today is exam or no you cannot make out the difference that, that's fine it's okay for them for us it was literally literally something you know we were studying throughout night we were also very much sincere student as far as means i did a lot of sincere study i also always say you know sincerity is only for the exam we never used to study till the exam came <laughs> yeah but still you know it's a kind of thing which we can recollect which today's generation is missing and we can tell them the stories you know yeah. how they will understand you know it's a kind of general casual talk should be happening at home yes absolutely in fact a good house becomes a home only when there lot of discussions at home isliye main hamesha bolta hu ghar pe baatein karna zaruri hai i'm smiling because nowadays i am also <laughs> making some mistake because i don't have time every time there are so much work and we are always in front of screen we are in front of the world we are speaking but we hardly get time to speak with the parents or people around us so yes i will add this one more sankalp <laughs> to start again reconnecting with them yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes yes 
so what else sir uh, you want to give some tips to those people i would like to, like to give two tips i like to give two tips okay number one okay. is that you know, please inculcate the habit of reading in your children the habit of reading is very essential you can see as you are writing i am sitting in a library in my house you can see a lot yes. of books over here so you know and yes. you be surprised if you are a reader as a parent you know your children will also start uh, liking reading so mm. it's very important that parents should also try and have cultivate the habit of reading and children will naturally develop that habit the second tip i would like to give to parents that please start learning from children you know we are so yes. used to teaching children that we stop learning yes. from them for example you know uh, it is said as a joke when we were small when an electronic item came into our house maybe television or a fridge or a radio or a tape recorder whatever it is you know our parents never used to allow us to touch it and say hath nahi lagane ya and now mm-hmm. if you have an electronic gadget let's say for a example a smart mobile you buy you don't know how to operate it you give it to your children mm-hmm. and they will tell you how to use it yes yes absolutely <laughs> that is the, the life scenario each house you can find this thing you know absolutely. my parent now my niece when they visit to our home they teach to my uh, parents you know i don't have time to tell and sit with them and tell them okay how mobile works but they nicely sit together and they do all those things so this is very true uh, yes so it's very so important that think- children may learn a lot of things from us but we should also learn as parents a lot of things from our children yes so it's a given take things you know knowledge exchange it doesn't matter what is your age or what exactly but children teach us yes. lot they are actually our teachers yes we yes, have to yes <laughs> yes uh, so sir uh, uh, one important thing which in my practice i also deal with adhd children and recently uh, i have shared that picture with you i find that i took so many classes of people who are very much good and doing well but for fitness they join or some therapy but they sometimes not regular in their class or they don't follow advice but here when i am teaching this child who is actually referred to me means the his parents came to me uh, that uh, he is not expressive he is not able to express and make friends due to his inability or whatever he is is going through internally and they are sad he is also getting uh, into the uh, on the social uh, event when they visit so he makes some face weird face they feel sh- shame about this or guilt and then they have started this class so i find but this child is very sincere and following each and every instruction of mine so i don't think that there is any problem in the child so here i want to uh, ask you this personal question how this parents of such a child you know they are more anxious compared to the normal anxious parent so what is your advice in such a cases because there are many people going through this so i would like to suggest that you know every parent should look at parenting as a spiritual experience Okay, it's very, okay. very important because if you look at one, you know, my child is having this problem, that problem, then you'll always compare with other children. Yes. So you know, I always suggest that you know, whatever the child you have, you know, whatever be the condition of the child, it's a beautiful feeling to bring up a child. Okay. For for example, yeah. you know, uh, one generation ago, having a girl child was not accepted in our society. Yes. Yes. बट आई ऑलवेज सेड यू नो लड़का हो या लड़की हो भगवान का प्रसाद है आपके लिए यस एब्सोल्युटली एब्सोल्युटली सो इन द सेम वे यू नो इफ यू हैव सच काइंड ऑफ अ चैलेंजिंग चाइल्ड आल्सो फिजिकल और मेंटली यू शुड नॉट गिव अप इन फैक्ट आई रेकमेंड ऑल ऑफ यू टू वॉच अ मूवी कॉल्ड अस फॉरेस्ट गम फॉरेस्ट गम जी यू एम पी देयर वाज अ रिमेम्बर इन हिंदी कॉल्ड लाल आई थिंक लाल सिंह छड्डा Okay, हाँ लाल सिंह चढ़ता है। Yes. So original movie yes, yes, yes. was about a child who had some challenges, but the mother believed the child. Interestingly, the mother yes. was a single mother in the movie, yes. but the child. Yes, I watched so it. Yes. But the child excelled so much that wherever it went, it actually succeeded. So the hero Forrest Gump actually wins Olympic gold medals. He becomes a successful businessman, marathoner. 
he actually joins the army and gets the president's medal so the faith in the parents is very important in the child mm. and if there is one more movie yellow 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 yes mm. and i know many parents have this kind of a problem but you know you'll be surprised every child who's got this kind of a problem will have some talent which is a hidden in the child yes yes so yes. it's your responsibility to find out that child maybe it's a good painter a singer or something like that you know so once you develop mm. that qualities then the child will mm. bloom and you mm. know you must have heard about so many great uh, people like beethoven and helen mm. keller you know they were all talented children mm. but mm. the parents yes helen helen keller is very i read a lot of quotes uh and even uh, she uh, her teacher her connection with the teacher is very special right yes absolutely yeah. so that's why they require yeah. great parents and great teachers like you they will bloom thank you <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> so yeah so it's a teacher and parent cooperation right absolutely. teacher and parent cooperation is very important to deal with such a child absolutely not the, not just deal with the child but love the child love the child yes i will change this term it's very important to change terms what yeah. we say because that comes uh, in our action yes right? absolutely absolutely yes uh, sir uh, you have already promoted chanakya in very different way and simple way you know and uh, actually i started loving and watching chanakya and all these things when i got to know about your work and things and uh, i started uh, even when last year if you remember i really thank you that you allowed me in that workshop which you did for 3 days workshop and now also your that workshop is coming up so i would recommend everybody who is watching you if you haven't done it please join sir workshop of art of parenting uh, so in that you have shared lot of tips what chanakya says so do you want to share at least three tips for our audience uh, what Chanakya says about parenting. Absolutely. In fact, the very famous sutra of Chanakya is three stages of parenting. The first stage is till the child is five years old, love the child unconditionally. For the next ten years, discipline the child. After that, consider the child as your friend. So, in the first stage, the child is totally dependent on you till five years. You know, you have to clean the child, feed the child, take care of the child. every single moment you have to take care of the child and if the child yes. has any you know mess up you can't uh, blame the child it is very innocent child so till 5 years love the child after that when the child's intellect grows it starts thinking then you have to correct the child so it's disciplining discipline doesn't mean beating correcting the child and after 15 years in our indian culture we consider children as our friends you can talk mm. to them any topic under the sun unfortunately mm. in our country now after the child is also grown up we still consider them as children so the child yes. has yes. become a father but usko bhi abhi bhi hum log bachcha samajhte hain aisa nahi karna chahiye <laughs> this is so true this is so true uh, you know for parents uh, it doesn't matter what is the age of their son or daughter but it's always uh, children even i have been treated same way till the till this age so so one side i am feeling very much blessed but other side i am always dependent on them you know indirectly so i'm not doing anything else uh, than just teaching and uh, thinking of my content and things and that nothing else so yes this is very important we need to now you know when they grown up we have to leave them a little bit there is one uh, you might be remembering kahili gurban he said something related that arrow you know so would you like to say about that yeah uh, why very, very, let go very nice person very great writer is was khalil gibran khalil gibran yes he yes. wrote a book called like, the prophet the prophet yes, is the prophet who is giving advice and there is one chapter in the book called as parenting his advice to parents yes so one beautiful yes. analogy say that parents are like a bow and the children are like an arrow so you know arrow yes. is not coming out of the bow it takes the support of the bow but it goes away 
and the bow should yes. let go the arrow only then the arrow will go to the destination yes and he says yes. khalil ikbal very nicely the children are not from you the children are through you bachche hamare yes. dwara aate hain hamare se nahi aate aur hamare ye bhi completely nahi aate unka alag se purpose hota hai bilkul so, this need to be understood by all the parents you know we are, because uh, uh, there are a lot of the children too much we should bloom the children to go out and find their destiny yes i'm just uh, my mind is connecting with that uh, you know the delivery process you know if the nal is not getting cut then and mother do not want to you know leave that how will it will be beneficial Absolutely. so it's Absolutely. like that we have to detach so in yoga we have that concept of abhyas and vairagya both yes. are needed you know so yes. attachment and detachment Absolutely. so that is the <laughs> so when when i discuss this there are a lot of thoughts you know just pops up uh, thank you for this provoking thoughts and sharing this thing